Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to review and also quick unbox this nice looking mesh network router. Yes, it's done by a company called Wavelink and it is modeled Halo Polar. It is AC3000 tri-band Wi-Fi router. It is a really gigantic, but again, it will give you that ease that you need inside of your house. Even if you want to go to your backyard or you want to go to your driveway in front of your house, you will have a perfect internet so this way you have access with more than three bars all the time all right you can see that the box is ginormous and once we open it there's another box inside of it which has a beautiful design around it and it has a little plastic that you have to keep ripping all the way around in order to open it and once that part is done too you can just open the top and all of the three nodes are sitting inside Also, you have a little white box and that white box, once you open it, all of the power supply and the paperwork are inside of it. Three power adapters and an Ethernet cable. It comes with a quick start guide. It has a lot of little details inside of it that you can read and set up your router easily. It also comes with this position guide for MASH devices and it will show you exactly through the picture on how you can set it up and where is a good area to set this up. You can see that this package comes with three power supplies. They're all the same. The connector is made for Canada, United States. It is 5 volt, 4 amps and 20 watt and the connector that will be connected to the router itself. Now it also comes with this RJ45 or Ethernet cable. It is roughly about a meter long. Here is the router. This is how it really looks. You have a nice baby blue picture on the top, sticker on the top that you can take off. So this router do come with some connections. It's starting from the right side, you have the little reset hole, and then you have the on and off switch. You also have a little pairing button, so this way you can pair from one node to another. Also you have the power connection, you have two LAN connections, you have the Ethernet port, which will be the WAN or WAN connection. Also you have one USB connection. That's the best part. And if you look in the bottom part of it, you have lots of holes for ventilation. You have four little lakes. Now when you put it down on the table, it just stays still. Now when you look on the top, it has a nice design to it and you have a little cut, but the other two are identical to this. But let's just get this connected one by one and show you exactly how it will look. So for connection, we gotta make sure that this is turned off and then connect the power first there you go and then we will connect the ethernet wire to it so that way we, we can get some internet once it's all done then click it on now setting up the router was super easy get the wave router app from the google play store follow the simple instructions and you will be set up and running in a few minutes i didn't have to connect any of the units through Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, or take pictures of any kind of QR codes. Just the button on the side, and you have to press it for a couple of seconds, and then on the secondary of the node or the router, and it will be connected in a jiffy. Except that it connects with no issues, and the Wave router app is set up pretty intuitive. All the menus can be found right in a main app. All through the setup, I give Wavelink a A+, considering that I had no issues setting it up. Now, this router have this new feature. When you tap your phone, or when you tap on top of the router itself, and you select the proper Wi-Fi name, it just connects you automatically so you do not have to enter any passwords. So here is a live test to see exactly what type of numbers we will be getting sitting roughly about four to four and a half feet away from the actual main router. So let's just click on go and let's just check it out. Now remember that where we are, we have a gigabit internet and this is Wi-Fi and this one is set up on our Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. And you can see that we received 420 for our download and we're getting about 32 
0.84 for our upload which is a really good number now just to demonstrate i tried this one more time and i got 539 for my download and 31.7 for my upload that is a very very good number i tried it one more time roughly about 20 feet away on our driveway which is outside of the house and this is now connected via another node or secondary router that has been connected wi-fi based and here is the number we received 114 for that and our upload rate was 31.2 Again, this is an excellent router. I've never seen something so good to work on Wi-Fi. We're also going to do another task now to show you what type of numbers we're getting when we connected LAN connection to this. All right, so here you go. This is a task directly connection to the router wired, and this is the number that we're going to get. So this is a live connection right now. We're just going to check exactly what type of number we're getting, and it looks like it is giving us roughly about 500 megabit, as you can see, and it's trying to push a little bit over 500, which is, again, it is really good, and while we turn a test, this is roughly around the really rush hour for everybody to be on and watch things. You can probably tell in the background we have a few things running too, but this is a really good number our upload rate is about 32 and you can see that it is giving us about 31.18 and our download rate is 574.60 is the number that we receive again this is a really good number when we trying to connect via LAN connection to this router now when you are connecting the routers itself make sure that you set up the first one and then the second one and then the third one should be really near to each other when you're setting up for a very first time but when you are trying to put it away from each other make sure that it should not be over 40 feet away from each other but again it's going to cover a wide area with the wi-fi I know that you can set up as a mesh network and it will decide by itself if you're going to fall under 2.4 or 5G network, but it will work a lot better than you setting it up as a 5G or a 2.4. All the links will be available in the bottom of this video, how you can order it and if you need more help. Except that, I hope you guys like our video. If you do like it, click the click the like button, subscribe button on the top, comment in the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website, info, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Instagram and other social networking places and thank you.